So Shakespeare, is King Lear the only Shakespeare you've done? Mm -hmm. And what was it like heading out into white language, which is 400 years old? Uh, you know, I, I loved it. I was very full. Uh, I had a good, I had a sense of it. And, and I grew up with many languages. I grew up with Cree and Dene and, and uh, English and and uh, Patois, which is Cree, and some French mixed in with it, and, and heard many kinds of languages all the time when I was growing up. And, and, uh, and it was delicious. I loved it. And another thing that I appreciated is that it was a, a, not a new script. It was a script that had, you know, the words are going to be the same when you come back into the work the next day. And it was your work to get to know these words, each word, and, um, and to, to walk with it. These are people who lived, and this is what happened, and these are the words that they used. And it, it was nice to, to have that confidence, because so much of the work that I've done is been new scripts and, right. and new stories and and uh, and you don't really know if if uh, is a lot of the you know some of the work that I've done is it, uh, uh, bless her heart you know really trying to uh, write something of my culture or, or my cultural experiences or something in it but nobody really knows uh, new. You know, I'm talking about writers from outside the culture trying to write what was going on in the culture. And no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not the kitchen. So do you write? This scene takes place in the kitchen, but that doesn't take place. That doesn't happen. That, it, it's just removed from the reality of it. And uh, I'm, I'm doing some, I'm getting into it more and more and more. I just did a workshop of uh, how to de develop a one-woman show. Finally, I just did a workshop this last weekend. And so I'm just kind of moving more and more into it. And that's one of the things that I like about Toronto and having my, my son and my daughter-in-law and my grandchild here is that I, I have a, a sense of settledness, you know, like I'm not going to be ripped away and torn off in another direction, I feel like. I have family here. My kids are all on this side of the country, and uh, I feel like I can, uh, I can settle in and, and start doing some of my own writing, which is what I've been wanting to do for ever and ever and ever. Miriam Margulies has a show called Dickens Women, and she is a very lively English actress. I think she's in her 60s now. And she does a play about all the great characters in Dickens, women characters. And she takes them and she puts them together. The play has two levels, one of which is her depicting all those women, and the second is her as a woman commenting on a man, a patriarch, who wrote versions of women. So she's commenting not only about the culture who spoke about those women, but she comments about her problems with the man who wrote the women. So the play has many levels, and I go, well, ten two. Why don't you pull out all these characters from TV and film and that you've been forced to play or you played? You could put together an evening of those with Tantu speaking in the middle about a being a modern woman from that culture acting those parts in this kind of conflict or not. It might be very... Well, that's kind of what my book is. Um, you know, I've hauled all my archives. I've got journals. I've got stuff. And, uh, and I want to get to the place where, you know, I can get some money somewhere where I can just sit down and start going through all this stuff and, and, and drawing it all out in chronological order. Because there's a real sense to this project what it was about, the energy that was involved, what I met in that project, and then what came next. Because things right. built one on the other, you know. 
um, where I, I'm, I'll be doing a project and thinking, okay, what is it that I'm here to learn? Uh, like doing a project with John Giuliani, uh, Three Little Girls, Pablo Picasso, Pablo Picasso play. And uh, that was about fear. And, and, then, and then subsequent work after that, just really kind of looking at the element of fear. And, and then it becoming clearer and clearer and, and recognizing it and see how it's obstructing and see how it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like if, if you got a pinch somewhere or, or a pulled muscle or something and if you don't take care of it, then it can really start kinking out your whole body, right? And, and so that's, and then it can be used in the right, because it's, it's a basic element, it's a basic element. Those kinds of discoveries, and that's what I'd really like to do with, with the work that I'm doing. Um, so you're going to write this? Well, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but any time I submit to Canada Council, it comes back, nope, Piers didn't like it. <laughs> you know, so, eh. I don't know.